G'day everyone, Pete Techman Coman here for another exciting episode of The Tech Effect and as always, my good friend beside me is Mark the Bearded Tech Ski and welcome Hello. Mark. Thanks Pete, how are you? I'm great, yourself? Killing it, we're going Killing back. Killing it, yep. where, where are we? We're at ISE Amsterdam 2020. Yes. 2020. Correct, And You're very good at math. I, <laughs> it's the last day, so you know. It's the last day. Yep. We're, we're running out of, running out of puff. That's true. That's true. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's not why we're here. That's not why we're here. Why we're here is because... Tell us why we're here. We get a lot of questions. Yep. Uh, about? About the equipment that we're using. Correct. So we're going to do this segment and it's going to be called, Show Us Your Rig. Right? Show Us Your Rig. Not that rig. You know, we oh. just saw Pete's rig. Right. But we're actually really going to show us right. the rig. So what we're going to do is run through what you got yep. and um, some of the good things you love about it and some of the things you don't like about sure. it or the things that annoy you and how everything comes together. So Sounds good. Tell us, so Pete, Mark, show us your rig. Show us your rig. All right. <laughs> okay, all right. So what I've got, see a lot of people stop me when I'm at trade shows and want to have a look at my setup. Um, it's taken a while to get it all right and put it all together. Um, I started off just using like an iPhone like most people do, but it gets a bit shaky. And so I, I actually bought a, a gimbal similar to yours uh, to hold the, the iPhone, but then yeah. I found it as a bit big, bulky, and you know, I, I didn't, it didn't quite work. You're trying to get audio into it. Right? Yeah. So I was looking for another solution, and then I came across the DJI Osmo Pocket, which is this little this little bad boy here. And what this does, let me just pull this out like so. That's it, right there. You can see it's a, a very, very small camera. Uh, it's a three axis gimbal camera. It actually can shoot in 4K, right? Beautiful. Which is quite impressive. Yeah. I don't shoot in 4K because it, one, it, it, it chews through the batteries quicker. It gets pretty hot and it takes up a lot more space um, sure. on the storage card. So, so where is so it's storing onto there, not stores, onto your iPhone? It stores yeah. onto here. So there is a, a, um, a little micro SD slot here, yeah. and I've just got a 120 gigabyte um, card in there. Yeah. Uh, and what it has, it's very, very, what I love about it, it's very, very quick to start up. So I just turn that on and within seconds, you can see it's ready to point and shoot. It has a little screen, it has a little screen right here, but it's a little on the small side. So what I do is I pair it. The reason why I've got my iPhone here, or yeah. a iPhone, and the reason, just a tip for all you uh, up and coming videographers. Videographers, don't do what some people do, <laughs> right? Don't do what some people do. I'm not going to name any names, all right, at all, right? Because they wouldn't like it if I pointed out. What they were doing. What are you pointing at, Pete? Nothing. Oh, sorry. Nothing. Um, don't use your personal iPhone. Okay. Don't use your personal iPhone. Use an older iPhone because otherwise you're constantly checking it for messages and people are ringing <laughs> and all sorts of stuffs going on. Then the battery goes flat and so on. So I have a dedicated iPhone here that I use which is not used for anything else, that's in flight mode, that's in do not disturb, it's got no notifications on it whatsoever, just the bare bones software that I need yep. to get this to work. All right, so, so we have the camera, this is fantastic, okay? Three axis gimbal camera, it moves around, it's so smooth, it's so light, so small, it's fast to start up and it goes in your pocket. But what I do is I attach it to the iPhone like so, and then what you do is it will, you can, what, it, what it, let me just start it, find the app. Ah, oh, wrong app. The device not supported. That's, that's right. Going well that's, so far. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, very well. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what you do is you just, you turn the phone on and what it will do is automatically start up the app for you. I'll show you a demo in one second. Okay, so you can see the magic of live TV. <laughs> so I basically just use it as a viewfinder. 
No? And it's what, a big screen. It is, it's just a big screen. Okay, it's not doing anything, it's not storing the information on there at all. Do you have any control over the camera absolutely. from your phone? Yeah, 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 absolutely. So when you have it set up, so quite often you can see what I've got. I've got it on a, um, on this, basically a selfie stick, yep. okay, and I've got a tripod on the so, bottom. Is that, uh, so I think it's important. You know, we're, we're not sponsored here. Just no, to, not just at to all. Clear. <laughs> you, just to be clear. You can tell we're not sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but well, yeah. I think what's important here is we actually tell the brands as we're going because sure. um, this is a this is a DJI. This is a DJI. Tripod. Most of this stuff is DJI. They make yeah. some really good stuff when it comes to portable portable uh, video equipment. Yeah. Uh, so this is actually two parts. So down here, I'll unlock it. This is just a, a detachable tripod. Okay, and Lovely. that just screws into the into the bottom of the, this is actually a selfie stick, the black part here from DJI, the, the tripod's also from DJI. Uh, the tripod folds out like so, and then it also has these extensions to make it more stable. So how high does this go? All right, so when we put it in that mode, and then what I do to, to actually get it in uh, selfie mode, you have this extension stick like this, so it probably comes up to just over, just over waist height, so maybe 1.2 meters, right, or so, yeah, you know, for that. Probably then, shouldn't have put those stabilizers away. Oh, exactly. <laughs> and then it just folds up in there. Now, the beauty of this is that when you're, you can actually turn around and um, have, have it set up for face tracking. Yeah. So I can actually set it up and click on my, it's a bit hard to show you guys here, but um, if I go into selfie mode, so you can press the button three times, it goes in into selfie mode. And what I can do is do follow. Yeah. And it will track, it'll track me. Yeah. Spin around here, Pete. Go that way, and so the, the camera will see us there. You can yeah, see it, see it tracking you. All right, and you've also got. So, you're right there, are you? No? Oh, sorry. <laughs> you look beautiful, sweetheart. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> you've also got some uh, other functionality in this camera, yeah? Time lapse and. Yep. Um, tracking on your time lapse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, another feature that this this camera has, it's not has nothing to do with the phone, is you can actually do a point to point time lap time lapse tracking. Yep. So I can have a start point and a finish point and because it's a because it's a um, a three axis gimbal camera, you can actually go from low to high or whatever. And so it does your normal time lapse but also pans across and moves from like you know, from the start yep. point to the finish point and does nice a time lapse. Yeah, yeah. And, and it looks amazing. So you, you yeah. get some really nice shots out of it. Yeah. Uh, you can also, using the screen, I can actually control the camera as well. So I can turn around and, uh, it's, once again, it's a bit hard to show you, but there's a, little, there's a little button on here and I can actually control the axis of the camera of what it's pointing at. Right, okay. From the screen. Nice. Yeah. Okay, and so what about, um, this here. So how much of this you've got your selfie stick, how much is comes together, as in you buy it together, or and how much is ad adaptations of everything and okay. added to so there so you've got the tripod which is separate, yeah, the, the selfie, selfie stick. stick is separate, and then I've got this little um, mount for the iPhone, which is separate. Yeah. And this is separate. Um, it's from the same company. I think you can buy these two together. Right, but it's not a DJI product. No, they're though, not DJI, no. Even though this is a, a DJI camera and it's made for a DJI. Correct. Pocket. Yeah, I don't know if they actually make one. I haven't seen one. Um, the accessories are somewhat limited, like genuine DJI accessories are somewhat limited. Yeah. Um, but this this company here, uh, Ulanzi, U-L-A-N-Z-I, for anyone who's interested. Uh, I The reason why I like this is because it's a metal construction. And what it does, there are some others that I've tried, but they're, they're too flimsy. Yeah. Like, even though they're metal, it's just the way that it's actually designed. Where this actually is a like is a, a clamping. Is a thread yeah, it's a thread. So, so you can just tighten it down, nice so and firm. Yeah, so it's a clamping screw, right? Yeah, right? And you tighten that up, 
and that just compresses on the on the phone. And this little plastic bit here is just to support the DJI uh, pocket yep. a little bit better. All right, and then you can obviously you've got some um, additions that you can add to there. So you, you don't normally just have this setup, right? You've got I've got some other setups as well. You, I just you throw your GoPro in there. Well, what I can do that. is I can put my GoPro on this uh, cold shoe mount at the top, so I can put that screw that in. Um, audio wise, uh, what so, I so sorry, yeah, why yeah. would you do that? Why, why do you, would I do that? Why would you put your GoPro? I mean, you've already got a camera, so yeah, yeah. What, what's the point? So when I'm walking through a show, like, okay, first thing is the GoPro has a 120 degree you know, field of view. So yeah. it's got a nice wide angle lens on it, yeah. where the DJI is, is a lot narrower. I think it's about more like 70 degrees. Yeah. So if you're trying to capture something, like you're know, trying to capture a lot and you're quite close up, the DJI is not that great for it, yeah. where I can use the GoPro. Right? Or I can get up close, I can just get up closer to things and, and record stuff. But I also use it, the, the GoPro for um, for doing time, well not time, well actually time lapse, but more so um, they have another, another, I can't remember what it's called, they have another function in there yeah. that actually does a time lapse whilst you're walking and it's a lot smoother. Oh right, All right. And, yeah. that's, and that's a feature in GoPro? In the GoPro. Eight. That's the seven. Seven. That's the seven. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's called hyperlapse or motion lapse or it's called something, I can't remember, but, but I found that when you're walking around like a trade show floor like we do, it actually is a lot smoother when you actually when you play it back rather than a time lapse. The time lapse gets very a bit jumpy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's why I use that bundle it together. Yeah. Yep. Right. All right. And so video is only half the deal. Correct. Right. We've we've got to get audio in here. Mm -hmm. um, to, this first before we even get to the mixer and the audio. Yep. So the, the adapter you've got yep. going on here to get to that. So once again, this is another DJI accessory um, yep. that you add into it. So yep. it has a little has a little mounting point on the side here. Yeah. Okay. And this this piece here just screws in, and then that allows me to put in uh, cold shoe mounts, which is your, just your typical video yeah. set of mount. Yeah. Sure. Right? So and then what I've what I've got here is a just a, a passive mixer. Mixer. Right. Yeah. Because quite often what I'm doing, I'm walking around with multiple microphones, so. Yeah. I might be interviewing someone, um, and I might have the lapel, and they might have the handheld, or, or so, both have lapels. So this is a Saramonic. Yes. Just so you know, so just for the audience, it's a SR AX100. Correct. All right, so it's a, it's a two expensive. channel. They're not It's a passive mixer. Passive mixer. Yeah. Correct. Uh, I find the audio gets a little low at times, so you've got to be careful with that because it's passive. Yeah. Um, so you've got to make sure you, you get the get the settings right. So yeah, so then you've got some gain control in your mic receiver that you can just well, give it a bit of a well, kick. Well, I've got gain I've got gain control here on the on the passive uh, mixer as yeah. well. Yeah. Right. And then I've got control over the output of the the mic as well. Yeah. So so the gain control here really though when it's flat chat yeah. up to ten yeah. that's the line level, well, sorry, the, the level that's coming out of your um, receiver. Yeah. So you're only turning it down. You can't actually ever turn it up. No, you're not. Sorry, yeah. it's not. Yeah, it's not. Technically, gain. it's not gain as such. It's just yeah. it's controlling the controlling the gain. Yes. On it. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah, right. you can give it a bit of a kick on the receiver just to. Yeah. Yeah. And it does mono or stereo. So you've got three inputs at the back. So you got a you got a uh, mono or the two inputs on the stereo side. Uh, and then there's that output. So it's just 3.5 mil. Uh, I use the, the Shure wireless microphones, and this is just the FP5 receiver. Yep. Um, just fairly stock standard wireless so, receiver. So some of the little things you do that, you know, you, when we have these conversations about our rigs, yes. is that um, you go, oh, I used to do that, but. Yeah. One of the things is really simple, but it's labeling. Correct. Right. Yes. 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 So, you might have noticed I've actually got because we've got multiple microphones. So I've got uh, two lapels, two receivers, and one handheld. Sometimes it gets a bit confusing of what goes where and, yeah. and so on. So, simple thing uh, like labelling really, really helps when you're trying to put all this stuff together quite quickly when you're trying to do do a yeah. shoot. Yeah. yeah. But you've also how you label is important too, right? You've because. It, you're always in a hurry, yes. typically, and if, you, if you've got someone on the fly, yep. you've got to get this stuff together yes. fast, as yep. we've experienced a couple of days yes. ago. Yes, correct. <laughs> correct. Didn't, didn't all go to plan. No, no. And the thing is, we're not, because I use these 
belt pack receivers, yeah. they look almost identical to the belt pack transmitters. Yes. So I used to just have mic one uh, for, for the receiver and the transmitter, yeah. but sometimes you, when you're in a hurry, you pick up the, the, wrong the wrong one and you attach it to the wrong device, right? Yeah. So as I said, just because they look identical, the only real difference is, is that the receiver has two antennas and the transmitter has one antenna yeah, on it. Wow. So yeah. other than that, it, at first glance, you couldn't really tell. Yeah. So that's why I actually have mic one RX, RX. on there for yeah. the receiver. Yeah, yeah and that's important really. I mean, it's all these little things um, yeah. that make a difference into being able to quickly get content. Because the, the, the challenge is that I find with with all this content creation is you've got to be ready. You've got to be ready. You've got to be got ready to, to shoot. You've got to be ready to shoot. So, yeah. you know, it, it even comes back to how you transport this around yeah. as well. You well, know, that's you've, what I said. You've got a, a bag. I've, I've got a bag. I don't like carrying the bag with me. I, yeah. I, I, I like to try to be as light as I possibly can. Hence why I've got this. This is super nice. It gives really clear shots. Not the best in low light. So yeah. like sometimes these trade shows, we've got some very low light conditions that we're dealing with. Yeah. Um, uh, so we'll also use, I've got my big camera that I'll bring along from time to time to do a, like a, a, a more sort of production shot like we're doing now. Yeah. Um, it's a bit weird using the word production when we're talking about us, isn't it? Yeah. Production. Well, it, it's, it's, we're using it very loosely. It's pretty, pretty epic yeah, yeah. stuff that we're delivering here. So I love this. It's light. It's easy. I can carry it all day. Um, and I, it just sort of balances. I just, just sort of carry it like that. Mm. Yeah. And so... Uh, all our tech effect videos yes. to date yes. uh, have been done Correct. on this. Yeah, we, have, we don't we don't use Pete's big rig. We only use his little this rig. This is my little rig. Yeah. I have a bigger rig. Yeah. Correct. Uh, anyway, yeah. you've also got um, we've got some more. You've got some more cool yeah. toys, and and this is obviously a GoPro. Yeah, this is my GoPro. Uh, I use the the Joby um, tripod. Uh, the reason why I use this, I actually I've tried a few different tripods uh, over time, but the reason why I like this one is it because I can actually attach it to things. So you might have a yeah. you might have a, a railing or something like that, and you yeah. want to attach the camera to it. Yeah. You can actually just bend the legs in sort of whatever configuration and grab onto the railing and it's and secure. film it. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so once again, I use I'll do time lapse or whatever. Um, it's waterproof. You can take it's. It's pretty much indestructible, yeah. so you can take it anywhere. Yeah. Uh, the other thing that I'll tend to do also is, I have a, a suction cap mount. So quite often, if I'm in an Uber or traveling somewhere on a train or a plane, even, what I'll do is I'll actually put this on the suction cap mount and get some nice shots yeah. out the window. Just getting some, yeah. you know, I mean, just just yeah, putting absolutely. things into perspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the thing with video is it. It's great just to do things like this, but you also need fill, filler. That's right. You need to put some filler in around it. You yeah, know, when to, you're editing it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But but that's as I said, um, I like this. Uh, I like this this tripod. It's it's nice and light, easy to carry, flexible. It gives you kind of the best of, of both worlds, really. Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right. And you've uh, got one. One more. Oh, one. And also, by the way, I, I recently purchased this, which is a. A little mount for the DJI Osmo Pocket. That so can go I, into your Joby. Yeah. So I take off, I take off the GoPro, and then I put that on there, and, and then I can one. do the same kinds of things. So yeah, yeah just yeah. it's everything's interchangeable, which is yeah. really really nice. Yeah, nice yeah. one. But I have one other thing, one other camera that these, I actually. These are pretty amazing, and they do get a lot of attention. They do get a lot of attention when yeah. I when I. I know how them. much you love attention. Yes, yeah, so I'm an attention seeker. Um, these are my Vuzix glasses, they're they augmented reality glasses yeah. and they actually have a little camera built into them um, which is, it's not on at the moment but it's, it's up here and then there's a screen over here so I can, um, you know, like you can actually see what you're filming and, but not yet, not that you really need to, it's really just point and shoot so whatever I'm looking at it'll be recording. Yeah. So once again, it just, it try, it, the whole idea of it is just trying to give a different perspective of you know when we're at these shows of mm. what we're looking at. Yeah, yeah, well, right? it's, it's uh, straight out of the eye. You're exactly what you're looking at. Whatever I'm looking at, you are getting back home. Yeah, and so how do you? Is there an SD card in there? Yeah, Wonder yeah. SD? So uh, just <laughs> a thing that I found out when I first got these glasses, it only supports storage up to 32 gig, right? Which, right. in the scheme of things, it's not too bad. But when when I first got them, I put the the 128 gig. 
uh, micro SD card in there, and it's like, it, and what's that working? No, it just wasn't working. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. it's saying because there's, I think it's like six gig of storage, internal storage. Yeah. yeah? Uh, and then I, I wanted that extra, you know, room. The, the footage doesn't take up like what you film doesn't take up that much space. Yeah, unlike say the GoPro files, which are correct, quite, quite can large be files. can be large, or, or you know the big cameras and, and stuff like that. So, yeah. but yeah, we just try to give people a different perspective. So we have different cameras for for different. And different what about tasks. battery life on these things? Yeah, it's not too bad. I, it, well, it's not the best. I mean, you can see they're not the glasses aren't terribly huge. Right? They're yeah. bigger than normal glasses. The battery life I get about. Um, Probably about half an hour continuous recording out of it. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and so I've don't walk into a trade show and and then be you know get it all done in half an hour and then sort of you rent your stuff for the rest of the day until you can go out and charge it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. And and I carry Just a battery pack sparingly. with me as well. Uh, let me grab that. Let your me, your Pete's battery pack is uh, something to, to to behold. It's it's a big sucker. That's what she said. All right, so I, I have this. This is my uh, battery pack um, it's from Anchor. It's the largest battery pack you can buy that you're allowed to take on a plane. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, and it, charge, it could actually charge my laptop. Um, it charges all my devices. So it has three uh, USB ports on it. Yeah. Uh, one's got fast charging there. Yeah. And I can have all three devices charging simultaneously, and it works really, really well. You know, it's not, it's not too heavy, right? Yeah. It's not too bad, um, but it, yeah, it really saves you when you're out and about. So, like yeah. even things like with the glasses, I could run the battery down, plug it in, keep it in my bag, and still, yeah, still charge them. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. nice one. That's another one. Yeah. Yeah. And then your little suction cap. And that's the the GoPro suction cap that I. Yeah that I use. And once yeah. again, all these mounts are inter interchangeable, so you can swap them around pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, nice one. Uh, and that is a GoPro, oh, it's a GoPro. That's a proper, Go proper GoPro brand. That's a yeah. GoPro mount. Yeah, nice one. Yeah. All right. Well, Pete. I think that's, oh, actually, you know, the, the only thing that I, I uh, that I brought along to the show, but I, I don't have with me at the moment, is my drone. Oh, yeah, you got yeah. some cool footage. Yeah, I got some cool footage. Yeah. I got some more footage this morning outside because the weather's been pretty crap. So um, yeah. I went out there and got some shots of the rye and the, the areas and stuff. So that's another cool device. It's a, um, the smallest DJI drone that they make. It's a 249 gram drone, so I don't need a license to, to yeah. operate it. Yeah. And get some really good shots as well. Yeah. I think the thing uh, to really, that I've learned here uh, is that don't try and get it all in one day. No, you know, because no. it'll cost you a fortune. No, no, that's a, a lot of. And for me, a lot of it was trial and error, right? Yeah. Like I kind of tried different cameras and solutions and things, and some things worked and some things didn't. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, work and work at what works for you. Yes, and then, and correct. Then, you know, change it, adapt it if you need to on the on the fly. Absolutely. There you go. So yeah. that's awesome. Thanks for showing us your rig, Pete. Right out. Uh, <laughs> so so next episode. Uh, I'm going to show you my rig, and um, it, I know it's a sight to behold. Don't worry, you're going to love my rig. Right. Uh, most people do. Yes. Uh, so, so tune in for that, and uh, we'll see you again soon. Catch you soon. Bye. Bye.